Our camera lens trained on one man in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And this is the scene here at the Hawthorns. Great to have you with us. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Cheers. Good luck. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Hey. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good game. Thanks a lot. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Bye. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. A look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno stands between the posts. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the match begins. Townsend Mowat couldn't keep it so a look at the table and I think it's fair to say Stuart Arsenal have struggled Derek, this could be a goal here surely and he gobbles up the second chance disappointment for the keeper no wonder he's asking questions of his defence Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. Manuel Lazzari. Maitland Niles. Harrison. Dangerous looking through ball. Is it going to be? Can he finish? Not out of the woods yet. Well, unable to bend his run offside.
Harrison. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Well, news of a goal in the Chelsea game. Let's find out all about it, shall we, from Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. They're the first on the score sheet here with 21 minutes played. It's there for him. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Well, apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. To confirm, Chelsea did score in that match, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Not the best clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. So the corner played into the box and clears his lines. And continues his run. Can he finish this? Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Harrison. And a strong tackle. Dian Ghana. It's a neat move. Oh, showing good patience. And crossed in there. And an effective clearance. Now, interesting developments in the Chelsea game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Villa. The free kick was well executed, but it had a big deflection and it's gone in off the wall. They're back level. Can he put it away? And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Over the touchline for a throw in. Harrison. Oh, that's a really good run. Chance to finish. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here's the replay. And I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. sounded for half time in this game Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Into the second half, after a dominant first-half performance by Arsenal. Partey. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. 
Well, here's a story that many of us have been following with interest. Romelu Lukaku is possibly on his way to Inter, Stuart. Well, no surprise there's been an official bid made. It's probably just a case of whether it's enough now, although I'm not sure it'll happen immediately. Well, they might be onto something. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Harrison. Crisp tackling. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Gabriel Martinelli. Top-class defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And a change to the scoreline in the Wolves game, I'm hearing. Let's get the news from Alex. It's another goal for Wolves. It was a nice one-two and then a composed finish as he rounded the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 61 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Big chance! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Partey has lost it. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's West Bromwich Albion facing Southampton. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And whipped into the box. Thumped clear. Martin Odegaard. And just hearing ball in the net at Stamford Bridge. Over to Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Chelsea. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 76 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. A change well some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games let's hear about it from Alex Scott yeah it was a penalty for Wolves the keeper will be kicking himself he managed to get a touch but couldn't stop it going in it's now 3-1 with 80 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Counter-attacking very much an option. An effective ball. Oh, he's missed it. And that might be their fate sealed. Well, that must be it. He surely had to score there. And they will make the change now. Number 15, Abreki Ezra, to be replaced by number 25, Mohamed al -Nani. Gabriel Martinelli, Thomas Partey. It's with Erdogan. Martinelli. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And he's through. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. How can he take them on and beat them? 
So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and their many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well.